Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day today. And today I'm gonna to be testing out this new charging feature that Rivian added to the vehicle on this last update. It's supposed to be plug-in charge. And so I'm headed over to the EVGO station. I set up everything in the app. And so I'm gonna see if this, way, if this works. And if it does work, this is a great improvement, you know, it's for just for EV charging anyway just to be able to, to uh, walk up to the station and plug it in and start charging your vehicle up. And like I said, we're gonna see if it works. And if it does work, I mean, that is an outstanding improvement. It, you know, almost like the Tesla vehicles, you can just go to a Tesla supercharger, just plug it in and just hop back in your car. And, uh, you know, uh, even much better than the gas station. Of course, a lot of people don't notice, they talk about EV fires, but, 3% of gas fires, that's over 2,500 a year that happen at gas stations, are started by static electricity. <laughs> Usually someone getting in the car and then getting out and then take their pump out and then it starts a fire. It ignites that gasoline. So maybe you've seen one of these frightening videos. Check it out. It shows somebody pumping gas and then, oh, it, the whole thing erupts into flames. Videos like this go viral, blazing up the internet. So are these videos of spontaneous gas fires legit? And can it happen to you when you're filling up? So let's verify. We started by going to the experts at the Petroleum Equipment Institute. They're leaders of all things fuel related. They say static electricity. You know, the thing that shocks you after dragging your feet on the carpet? That can ignite gas vapors when you're at the pump. Next, the American Petroleum Institute says in very rare cases, static electricity can increase when re-entering your car, especially during cold and dry weather, and that can lead to a hasty flash fire happening at the fill point. And so uh, that's something a lot of people don't think about. He's always talking about these electrical vehicle fires, which are extraordinarily rare, uh, about a hundred times rarer than a, a vehicle fire, which gas car fires are even rare too, especially in collisions. But I digress on that point. But yeah, so we're gonna head over to this EV Go station and uh, we're gonna try to plug this thing in and let's see if this thing works. And I'll see you then. And so I'm ready to roll up on these chargers. See a, J a Chevy Bolt right there. Is that the 50 kilowatt? Uh, it's a Nissan Rogue. I don't know what that's doing parking there. All right, I'm at the uh, EV Go charging station. So I'm ready to get out and Plug this thing in and see if it works. So currently my state of charge is at 72%. And this, you know, I really don't need a charge right now, but I'm just gonna do this for uh, test purposes only. So I'm gonna get out here. Here's the EV go station. And And this thing says, you can't see it, but it says simultaneous charging available. We're gonna see how available it is. Go ahead and uh, open my charge port up. And then wanna go ahead and grab the charger here. And then this has that cord on it from, Let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Oh, got to move that down. So go ahead and plug this thing in here. And we'll see what happens. So you got it plugged in. I uh, don't see anything happening yet. Interesting. Stop charging. It's not charging. Okay, let me unplug this again. So it doesn't seem to be working as far as I'm concerned, but you know, it could be user error. Put this back up in here. It says plug in connector. Let me try this one here. So I received an error and then uh, it told me to plug in and restart my session again and 
I just did that and nothing so far. Now I do have my app out. It does say start charging. And I'm not sure if I should do that because that's not plug-in charge. It's just charging with an app. Now that's connected to my vehicle, but that's not the way it's supposed to work. Let me stop this session. Cancel this. So you got the red bars. Yeah, shouldn't be this complicated. And I do know I can initiate it by my phone. It's, uh, if I hit this, let me make sure I'm at the right location. I'm on the right side and I can hit this and start charging. And then I have an arrow starting session, have the you got the red like that right there. Let me pull this up again. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do this again. It says plug in and confirm your session. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit start charging. And right now it says connecting to vehicle. And it also says chargers preparing. And I have a successful connection. You see how the green right here, but I had to use the app. Yeah, I shouldn't have to be able to uh, pull my phone out and, and turn the app on. And that's not plug and charge. That's not how uh, Tesla vehicles are. You just plug those in and they start charging up. But uh, maybe it's some type of user error. I'm gonna try this one more time just to see, to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong on my end, but so far this is not working. Yeah, stop charging. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug again. I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna head to a different station to see if, if that's, that's what the issue it's just this particular station but one more time and still nothing And my car is acting as if it's charging. I just received a text message from ED Go as if the vehicle's charging. Wait a minute. Somebody says starting here. And maybe it is gonna work. Oh, it says unplug and try again. So that's that's the end of this. And right here again. And so I'm going to try a new station. So I am heading to the next charging station. I'm going to check this other EV go and see if this works. And if it doesn't, I'll see if I can re put my vehicle VIN number back into the system and, and see if that works. Because, uh, yeah, we'll see because obviously the last station didn't work. There was another charger there, but it was occupied by someone else, so 
But uh, if it says plug and charge, it should work. I should be able to just plug my vehicle in and it starts charging. So hopefully the next one uh, will work. And I am coming up on the next chargers. Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't think it matters. I'm just going to pull into this one. And that's a Chatamo. What the heck? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, we not the best charging location here, but just here to check this out. What is that? Okay. Wish it listed on here, which how many kilowatts it is. Oh, they have a bunch of ports here. Yeah, this is not a good idea. It's on a one-way street. Pretty dumb. Charger once before, I just don't remember which charging port I used. Okay, I'm just gonna see now if this one is going to work. Oh, this thing looks dead. What do we have over here? Oh, this thing looks dead too. Interesting. Let me go check these other chargers. Well, at least the paint thing is on here. So I guess I'll try that one up. Move my vehicle again. This is ridiculous. This is not good for EV adoption here. I think this is only charging high speed chargers in this area too. There's no, not even Tesla superchargers around here. Section of uh, musical chargers. And we're gonna see if this works. Oh, and it's playing the same game again as the uh, as if it's going to start charging, and more than likely it won't. But we'll see. Do -de do -de do -de do -de do -de do 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 do. I'm going to check my app and see if I received any messages. Unplug and try again. Uh, I don't think I'll be trying again. So we got that. Unplug and try again. I'm sure I got the uh, the charging error. And let me. I'm going to check my app again and just to make sure that everything is squared away with that. That last one was a failure also. I what I did, I I, I we re put my van in in the app. Uh, and then I did it with just my uh my make and model of the of the Rivian and neither one of those worked. And so uh this wasn't a plug and charge session, it was a plug and don't charge. So uh it, it did try to do a handshake, but each time it, it uh 
it said unplug the vehicle because you know it was an error. So, uh, so the two that I tested uh, at two different stations, uh, the plug and charge did not work. But I uh, just wanted to test that out. I was hoping it was going to work. It did work with my initiating it with my my app and my phone, but that's not the point of point of plug and charge. Uh, that's all I have for today. I'd like to thank you for joining me again, and I can't wait to see you on the next video.